You may have noticed bare shelves in the snack aisle when you visit uh, one of Canada's biggest grocers. Well, rising costs and inflation are getting the blame. When the chips are down, you <laughs> want Michael Serapio on the story. Fortunately, here yes. he is. Here I am, Heather, at when the chips are down. That's good. Uh, listen, as we continue our discussion about the rising cost of food, you know, the anxiety felt right now by every Canadian regarding uh, the prices of things at this moment, well, that too is translating to anxiety between industry groups. Now, case in point here is Loblaw, the uh, company behind Zares, Superstores, Provigo, No Frills, not to mention Loblaws, uh, against another company, Frito-Lay, the maker of Cheetos, Doritos, Lay's and Sunshine. At issue here is pricing. Inflation has also hit Frito-Lay and in a statement the company says the following, take a look, our business has faced unprecedented pressures from rising costs of items including ingredients, packaging and transportation to help offset these pressures on our Canadian operations. They say we have made adjustments to our prices that are consistent across the marketplace. But Loblaw, they're simply not buying it. As the grocer company says, it is laser focused on minimizing any price increases for its customers. So for now, the chip aisle is emptier than usual, but this could have bigger impacts. For example, Frito-Lay uses Canadian potatoes, and this may be a battle that we see more often as manufacturers, retailers, and consumers deal with the rising cost of everything. Take a listen to Michael Graydon, whose group represents companies like Frito-Lay's. It's a, unfortunately becoming more of a regular occurrence than we would all like to see. Um, it's not in the best interest of the industry, um, but it is something that uh, is, has really picked up over the last year as the inflationary costs have had some very significant economic impact on, on these organizations. And I would suspect as inflation will continue to be a challenge that these um, tactics will likely be employed in the future if need be, unfortunately. So that may be the future, but what about the immediate future? Well, to borrow a lyric here from Bono and you two, Heather, Loblaws will be where the aisles have no name or president's choice. Ah, okay. <laughs> The, the, the puns are flying. <laughs> I know. Really, Can you tell it's Wednesday? <laughs> I know. We need a break. Uh, listen, one of the things that we've been doing as part of our series, mm -hmm. Priced Out, Michael, is inviting people to share in uh, the whole storytelling process and share their sticker shock at the grocery store. Yeah. What is the latest that you're getting, Michael, in terms of uh, how much it's costing us these days? Yeah, you know, and, you know, I have to point out, people who live in the north know about the high price of groceries, but people in the south are now catching up because of uh, inflation and such. And take a look at this. This is from Darlene Meredith, and she lives in New Richmond, Quebec on the Gaspésie. And this is the cost of veal at her local uh, grocery store, $89. So uh, you better like veal if you're going to spend that much money. Uh, Janice Liederman uh, in Thunder Bay sent us this next one. Uh, Greek yogurt, always more expensive than the regular yogurt, but in this case, over $9, $9.50. Uh, Jason Michael, he lives in St. Catharines, Ontario, and this is the price of butter over six dollars a stick almost seven dollars uh, for what used to be uh, butter at around 449 or 399 uh, and let's take a look at Krista Clark now and you know she points out she's in Burlington Ontario she points out it's not just about the prices because even if you're getting the same amount uh, maybe they don't uh, sorry the same price they'll reduce the amount so you see there to the left the bag as it was 600 grams now a 400 gram bag for the same cost so you can see adjustments are being made right across the board Heather Michael thank you